Do you know what? It's, it's only a little bit early. I'm going to set that one off going. Get that sooner rather than later. Tanks are just as fast as cav, though. Yeah, but you can make far more cavalry than you can armor divisions. So if I break through, say, this line here with two armor divisions, two big armor divisions, I can then use 24 cavalry divisions to quickly sweep up and around and cut off like all these forces, whereas I don't have the resources to make uh, 24 armored divisions to do it. And cavalry divisions use less fuel. So that's, I mean, that's the thing. It's about fuel and rubber and stuff, especially for Germany. And it's not just for Germany. I mean, I've used them successfully as Russia, as Japan, before you get bicycle troops as well. So uh, they can be good. But nations which have massive amounts of oil and rubber, like uh, USA and Britain, it's not so much uh, a useful strategy because you can make motorized infantry, which I think have slightly better stats, but um, are generally just better to make. Yeah, air and land doctrine are going a little bit slower. I'm, I should maybe start uh, focusing on that. Let me just check on my generals and see if there's anyone I can promote here. Anyone who's missing... So I've got command points to do this now. It doesn't always show up, so let me just... Uh, check these out. Ah, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Thought, I mean, guerrilla fighter. What's this guy? It's, it's Rommel. Entrenchment speed. It's nice, I suppose, but it's not. Uh... Runstead, does he have anything? He's already got that thing. I don't think anyone else had anything I could spend on. All right. Try not to click the delete army button. Befehler. And my cavalryman. He's got nothing. He has got nothing. But he's training them boys hard. Keep Befehler. adding these in. Have I just put that in the wrong force? No, I haven't. It's okay. I just wonder where I'd put them. Uh, what shall we get next? I like 1940 submarines. They would be they would be really nice. Should we pile in with this? Let's pile in with this. Oil processing. Fuel gain from refineries. Because at first, nobody is going to uh, trade with me. And I'm not going to have the sea links safe sea links to do so uh, actually no let's let's pile up on air doctrine naval doctrine because we are i feel a bit behind with that as well and it is something we're going to be using yeah off again oh do i need to retrain right. anyway yep i do Angetreten. There, okay. And my cavalry army. I shall add them into... Well, I'm expecting Poland first, so let's put them into, into this. Doesn't really matter. As long as they're in somewhere. So I always like the nice, slow, steady build-up towards the wars, the first wars. See, the French have got a lot of stuff just over the border here. We better start making friends with people as well, haven't we? People of a like mind. What have we got? We've got uh, modify the government. We changed that. That's okay. War economy is fine. All right, I feel like we're getting there. Let's have... What would I get from high command? Erwin Rommel. Armour Division Attack and Defence is good. An Infantry Expert. There are some really good options for this. Army Regrouping for Recovery Rate. Airborne Assault. Paras unlikely to be a major influence in this. Anti-Submarine Specialist. Naval Air Defence. Bomber Interception. Army Logistics Expert. Attrition can be nice. Well, I'd say a genius. We'll put a genius in there. Let's see if he really is. Self-proclaimed genius. Military factories. Oh, I want um, guns. Of the anti-tank variety. We'll just put one factory in for now. 
not terribly high priority. Uh, mine subs are working. This thing is going to be finished soon. And the convoys are now starting to go up, which is excellent. And we'll start making a few. We'll have, we'll have to make some destroyers. We will have to have some. So I've got submarines over here. Excellent. These are the mine subs. I'll, I'll put them in a new theatre because we do want to make sure that I, I keep this separate so I don't mess this up. That's a terrible colour as well. Blue on there. I can I can put them in as a different task force, but I've found I can end up with them mixed up like that. And I don't want mine subs mixing up with the other ones. So don't necessarily want to waste a good commander on these things. I will I will I need 30 political points. I'll buy a new commander for these. I might want the good commanders for something else. Yeah, naval bombers later. I will have a few so that I can, um, you know, threaten the uh, Allied navies and control the seas a little bit better. The molotov Ribbentrop Pact. So, uh, we can do this. Soviet Union, blah, blah, blah. Gets the event. Agree to divide Poland between Soviet Union and Germany. Do I need to do that just yet, though? That is the question. Because I could pile down these. I did want that one. That's six military factories there, which is not to be sniffed at. What about the um, 37? I don't want to befriend Czechoslovakia. I can demand <laughs> Sudetenland. Are we a bit early for that? Demand Slovenia. Reassert the eastern claims. I think it's a bit early for those. And there's nothing over there at all. Naval rearmament. Just for the dockyards and the building slots. 35 days. Yes, okay, that's a bargain. I thought it was a 70-day one, but 35 days, that is excellent. Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. Speaking to the Italian populations along the Dalmatian coast, Benito Mussolini has announced that Italy fully considers Italian-speaking territory in Yugoslavia to be a rightful part of Italy. An official statement backed up the claims, making it clear that Italy is prepared to take the territory by force if need be. Wait, just a minute, weren't we... Spanish Civil War has kicked off. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Pause. Bring this down. This is an excellent opportunity to get some good experience in here. So, what we need to do... We're going to send some armies across to support these guys, if we can get there. So let me send... Justify war goal. Request license. Invite to faction. How do we do this? Send volunteers. How many can I send? I have naught divisions that I can send up to five. I could send Erwin Rommel with his tanks. They could potentially make a big difference. I'm going to send him. Send four divisions. Hang on, before I do that, let me just put uh, something else in there then. Because it's going to be... I mean, my, my tank divisions aren't particularly great. So what we'll do is I will include a unit of cavalry in Rommel's force. And now we can do it. Send volunteers. Erwin Rommel. It'll generate a bit of threat, but who cares? And off they go. That should be fun. A bit of experience. And also, you can also... Yes, they go. Excellent. You can also send... Um... Aircraft volunteers, I think, right? Just pause that while I read this. You have selected more divisions than you're allowed to send. Deselect some armies. I'm just going to cancel that. I don't know. I don't know why. Oh, it's because they're not counted as part of my divisions anymore. So I need to get more created. So, right. So I've reduced my overall number of divisions because those ones are not currently in play. And therefore I have the percentage centers suddenly gone up slightly and it's over the limit. Never mind, it will catch back up. And we'll be throwing in the Condor Legion as well. Which is the plan. Let's split that in half. Nice, the fighters are coming on. 
we can uh, let's put two more in there into war fighters these guys will uh, will level up okay and you can get training as well oh, am I not recording any of this I need to record some of this I'm gonna I've I was gonna review this game a long time ago I never got round to it so I'm gonna record a bit of footage for this now right let's unpause wait for my divisions to arrive what's in production at the moment a lot of the cavalry will slow down because I dare say I've got these terrible infantry templates from Austria as well so let's just get rid of those a Schnell division an Alpenjäger division and that must be the I'm going to guess that's the Austrian infantry there's no none of my units currently using these templates you can see because they're they're um, red so that's okay yeah what have I suddenly short of rubber there's a constant constant issue support equipment and a crap ton of rifles let's put some more effort into there right it's going to be interesting to see what happens in Spain then volunteer forces in transit they've arrived excellent slow down we can quickly swing a battle with these sort of units if we can see where they've gone there they are so these aren't going to be the best things ever i'm going to leave the cavalry division behind because it's quite quite beaten up uh, what we'll do is we're going to try and split these units up so let's bring them in help the uh who are they nationalists nationalists in Spain we get to fight a bit now we can send no oh, no 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 just go there sorry we can send send as many as oh it's an air volunteers so we can do this you have five divisions Uh, it's not letting me choose anything. But if I just click send, does that mean I can now... Let me see if I can put planes in here. I can't remember how it's done. I don't, I don't know if I have to select anything. Hmm. Okay. Well, I sent nothing. Oh, can I... Ah, right, okay. So what I do now is let's bring... I don't know how many I can send over. So let's try the ground attack things. There's 98 over there. Can I just transfer them in? One air wings don't have coverage. None of the sector air wings can be assigned here. Well, that wasn't the way. Unless I have to rebuild them. I don't think I have to build them over there. Hey, Circle Star. I am playing uh, Hearts of Iron 4. And Munta the Hunter, welcome. Welcome to the stream tonight. All's good with me, thanks. Although I'm trying to remember how to send no airplanes in reserve. I'm trying to send, I'm trying to remember how to send aircraft over. I know you can do it. Oh, it doesn't matter for now anyway. It's been ages since I've done this. Right, send in the tanks. This is the first fight with tanks, and then we can send some extras in. And you can actually come in over here now. So the idea here is just to cut the enemy off from their, their port and just let them starve. We're in 1937. We've just got magnetic torpedoes. Don't need to worry about the shells too much. Fire control methods. Doesn't make any difference to my subs. That's okay. That is a tempting one to get. So I am going to be laying some mines. We haven't done anything with naval doctrine, so let's get the submarine stuff. That's going to be an important one, I, I think. The Dunkirk Maneuver. What's the Dunkirk Maneuver? I once read a... I don't know why I read this. 
um, a reference to a, was it called the Cyprus Maneuver? Which was uh, nothing to do with military or war <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> this probably isn't worth Googling either. Did we get the tanks in? Okay, so tanks, they are not in where they need to be yet. And all the way along, we just make sure we're cutting things off from ports all the time. The tanks should do a nice job. In fact, let's just carry on. This is good open open plains here. So, oh, it's not though, is it? It's a mountain province. It's going well, though. It's going well. I sent a separate request to send volunteers. So let me try again, now that the request has been accepted. Let me try sending this lot. It'll go now. Cheers. Thank you. It will. It'll work now. Um, oh, here we've got Yugoslavia requests sale of airplanes. Realizing a strategic weakness, the Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its force. Significant money reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase. A commission is traveling around Europe to look for new sources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the urgency of the issue, the Yugoslavians have insisted on immediate delivery of, of transfer of planes directly from the producer. Um, screw them. We can't spare anything. Naval rearmament. Oh, nice. That was the extra dockyards I got, which is good. And this will give me research bonuses. Again, that's only 35 days. That is very, very nice. Yeah, 35 days. It's nothing. I've got, I've got to do it. And then we can get uh, the next model up of destroyers. And then that's done for the war. We don't need to build above 1940 level. I am supporting Franco in Spain, yes, because he had the nicest coloured uniform. <laughs> and that's a, that's a big thing. That's the most important thing. I should add, by the way, now, when I play these sort of war games, I hate playing as the baddies. I absolutely do. We, we know what uh, what the Nazis did in World War II. Uh, there's no debate over that. And for some reason, it always feels slightly wrong of me when, when I play that side in a war game, be it on a tabletop war game or this. And we're there talking about sinking convoys and uh, supporting fascist nations and, uh, you know, all the rest of it. But... I try to put that to the back of my mind and just see it as a, a challenge in a, in a game, a strategic military challenge. And that's that's how we play it. One thing I might like to do someday in this is play co-op. One person is Germany and the other is austro hung well, starting as hung Hungary. And then we both try to play cooperative to restore the monarchies of the German Empire, the old German monarchy, and the Austro-Hungarian monarchy as well, and build the old empires up back to a World War I status. That would be an interesting way to play. But um, <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get around to that. I'm generally not as keen on the non-historical playthroughs because the other nations then go off doing all sorts of weird stuff. And it's, uh, it's, it gets kind of strange. But it can be interesting. Right, we think... We think right, Rommel has uh, made his way across there quite nicely. So let's bring the tanks in over here. Where's going to be the next cutoff? This is a good cutoff, right, right here. Did I ever get any more aircraft over? We've got 98 here. We'll put these on to close air support over this area to start. Oh no, we've done this this area. We'll go over this area, and we may as well get some. I don't know there'll be any. Uh... Will there be any light aircraft? I just raided two Richtofen. Let's send them in. And put them on to air superiority. Just because we can. I'll be the baddies, exactly. You still love Silent Hunter 3? Did you ever play Aces of the Deep? Which was might be from the same company, but it predated the Silent Hunter games. You once sunk the hit ship your grandfather served on in Silent Hunter, and that, that would feel weird. That would feel, feel really weird. Uh, yeah, that's a very close personal tie you've got there, so that that's a strange one. 
I know it's only a game and stuff, but still, it, it, does, it doesn't feel quite right, does it? Shall we start building some destroyers? No, I'm going to churn out some more. Oh, wait, I do need... Do we have 1940 regular subs yet? Did we get the early submarine? Well, I should probably build some anyway. Yeah, I will build some. Oh, I won't build some. i uh, trash that. We've got a bit of naval experience. Let's see if we can make these a bit better. Do I want to bother creating a variant, though? Um, I, I, I'll put torpedo rooms in just for that. I don't mind spending five... Five XP on that. Save. And that's okay. It doesn't create an extra burden, really. And we'll put some of those on, and we'll have those appear in Rostock. Did I miss a research slot? What are we in? We're in 38. Pause. Pause, damn you. Uh, anything in engineering? Yeah, I thought there would be. But I'm not overly fussed about radar. There'll be some infantry stuff, won't there? Oh, what about armor? Yes, the Panzer three. Come on, we're going medium tanks now. Mediums is where it's at. <laughs> yeah, I actually used that gif of uh, Are We The Baddies from... I can't remember the name of them. The comedians. It was Mitchell and Webb, wasn't it? I actually used that gif on, uh, on my tweet when I was going live today. <laughs> it is a good sketch. Okay, the tanks are busy. Let's go and cut off that place. So the Spanish Civil War can drag on for years and years and years, but it's amazing how quickly you can make a difference to it if you, um, if you go and just help and do some simple things. I don't know if these guys are going to get any experience. Let's move them over to this place. Oh, no, that's, that's going to fill up the flipping airfield. Oh, that's... It's going to fill up all the airfields anyway. I don't think there'll be much to shoot down. I'll do it. Did the tanks go in? Come on. Having another airfield would be good. Uh, unassigned divisions. What have we got? Oh, nice. More, more cavalry. Pile in there. Get training. We've got a nice bit of army experience here. So let's go into... Did we decide that the cavalry brigades were done? They are, apart from having a field hospital, which we'll save. I quite like those. And the infantry will also have a field hospital. Which leaves us 10 points to increase our panzer divisions by a little bit. Trying to think, I think it's six and four. Six of these, four of these that I go by. If we're going to get medium tanks though, I might sod this. Yeah, go on, I'll leave that and I'll spend the points building up a medium tank division. Yep, Germans rolling across the Spanish plains. Well, actually, they're rolling into the Pyrenees, more precisely, but... Well, hang on. Let's uh, give us a bit of support from this flank, because... It's not looking like the tanks are necessarily going to break in there. Naval effort. Excellent. Expand the dockyards. Good, that's something we do. The U-boat effort. Oh, is that what I want? Uh, it'd be nice. Research bonus for submarine models. I do want that 1940 submodel early. Do I want it now, though? That's the question. Uh, let's go for this. I'm going to go for this thing. Where am I? There's so much choice. This will be national spirit. Infrastructure construction speed is faster. 
That's a load of that's a load of free infrastructure right there. And that's a load of military factories right there as well. Ooh, so many good things to go for. Is the U-boat effort going to be part of my big overall plan? I think it probably is. Yep, doing it. It is. We're going to go for early 1940s U-boats. That's what we're going to get. It'll help me control the Mediterranean, that's for sure. Nice, we're in there. Do we have anything left? I mean, we'll gain some experience just from driving in there and and uh, surrounding these and capturing them, so we shall do that. Command points. Erwin Rommel. Can we see his experience level or not? Is it that button? It is. It's going up. Good. Yeah, that, that cavalry could probably do with training, actually. We can probably leave it... Uh, we'll leave it in Bilbao. And I will train that one. But only that one. Yes? Yeah, good. Where's the tanks gone? That's about to fall anyway. So the next big cutoff should probably be along this river. This, this looks like better tank warfare area as well. Cut that off from the north. There's not enough divisions there to really do much. It's nice when you're fighting a war on one front, because then you don't have to pay too much attention to what's going on everywhere else. What's going on over here, though? We will take a little look at this. Give me a commander. Yep, they need a bit of retraining. I dare say all these guys. Oh, hang on. Do I have any more? What have I got in production? Yeah, these guys aren't quite ready. A load of infantry divisions, but that's fine. Some more cavalry coming. We can have another modified government agent. Material designer. Let's go for artillery, infantry equipment, motorization. What does that actually cover? Does that cover armor and stuff? I'll go for the artillery, because that's something I can actually build a fair bit of. And I'm going to need to start researching it up soon as well. We'll put some more soldiers in there soon. Uh, these guys, they're actually fine. And you, yeah, just retrain them. They've, they've gone down in training because I've modified the template a little bit, which means they've had new recruits come in. Where did my armor get to? Right then, straight to the sea. No problems. 